mystery be? I had a really tough time rating my favourite season. Firstly, because I don't genuinely work in favourites in ranks for myself. I normally have a best thing, and then I have lots of things that are also really, really cool. In this one, the only thing I was clear about was that one was my least favourite, and that would imply that one was somehow weak. It really wasn't. As you've seen in my reactions, I was gripped from the opening moments of The Leftovers. I know some people when they're watching it are kind of waiting to get through season one and then for them season two is like this massive jump in quality. That was not my experience. I absolutely loved season one. I loved learning about the characters. I loved Mapleton. I loved the creation of the universe. It was all fantastic to me. And actually because it was such a strong foundation, that's really why I ended up caring so much in seasons two and three was because they made me love the characters. They made me really care. They got me committed to the storyline. I was in, you know, absolutely in. But I really had trouble with seasons two and three, which which was my favorite season. So I've given them a rank. I've, I've put three at one and two at two. And I'll explain my thinking because I think there's a case for either, but here's where I'm coming from. Two is absolutely the best season in terms of the structure of the storytelling, period, for me. And it also had a number of my absolute best moments in the whole show. But I loved the extension of the characters in season three. I absolutely loved it. And my favourite ep single episode and my favourite moments were in season three. So for that reason, I'm putting season three in number one because it's just further down the line for me. You know, it's like the way that things developed in season three. Similar to season one, really. I feel like each season built on the last season, I didn't feel like we hit reverse gear in season three. I know some people did and it, it was not a favourite season of theirs. But I absolutely adored it from, you know, from the from the first second I loved it. I think the finale was difficult as an episode because, as I said in the review, it was an epilogue. And my favourite characters at that point weren't in it. <laughs> they, were just, they were just referred to. But it was still a beautiful epilogue to the story. And I enjoyed it all the way through for that. You know, was it my favourite episode of The Leftovers? No, by quite a long way. But the standard of The Leftovers is so high consistently that being my 20th favourite episode is still better than 90% of other TV programmes out there. So that's that, that's my ranking, that's my thinking. How did you feel? Which was your favourite season? Are you on, I mean, are there any people out there that felt that season one was the best? And then it went downhill after that. I would love to hear those opinions. I don't know how, but, but I would love to hear them. I think the general consensus most people are, can agree on is that season one is, is, is sort of the least developed season. It's the, that would be their third favourite. But I do see a lot of tussles over season two or three. So share your views in the comments. Have at it. You know, let's have a proper conversation about it. You never know. You might even change my mind. Those are my favourite seasons. Let the mystery be.